Every life form in the multiverse is unique from birth or before. We all have unique experiences that only we have these events in our own personal lives affect how we see, experience and react to the world around us. No living thing ever holds the exact same opinion or belief as any other, just like no living thing sees exactly the same color as anyone else. You live in your man slash reality tunnel and I live in mine. At times they may run parallel but that's all. Truth, I have learned, differs for everybody. Just as no two people ever see a rainbow in exactly the same place, and yet both most certainly see it, while the person seemingly standing right underneath it does not see it at all. So truth is a question of where one stands, and the direction one is looking in at the time. Of course, the reader may choose to differ from me in this belief, and is welcome to do so. Men occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of them pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing ever happened. While it cannot be proved retrospectively that any experience of possession, conversion, revelation, or divine ecstasy was merely an epileptic discharge, we must ask how one differentiates real transcendence from neuropathies that produce the same extreme realness, profundity, ineffability, and sense of cosmic unity, when accounts of sudden religious conversions in temporal lobe epileptics are laid alongside the Epiphanous revelations of the religious tradition, the parallels are striking. The same is true of the recent spate of alleged UFO abductees. Parsimony alone argues against invoking spirits, demons, or extraterrestrials when natural causes will suffice. The aneuristic principle is that of apparent order. The heuristic principle is that of apparent disorder. Both order and disorder are man-made concepts and are artificial divisions of pure chaos, which is a level deeper that is the level of distinction making. With our concept making apparatus called mind, we look at reality through the ideas about reality which our cultures give us. The ideas about reality are mistakenly labeled reality and unenlightened people are forever perplexed by the fact that other people, especially other cultures, see reality differently. It is only the ideas about reality which differ. Real, capital T true, reality is a level deeper that is the level of concept. We look at the world through windows on which have been drawn grids, concepts. Different philosophies use different grids. A culture is a group of people with rather similar grids. Through a window we view chaos, and relate it to the points on our grid, and thereby understand it. The order is in the grid. That is the aneuristic principle. Western philosophy is traditionally concerned with contrasting one grid with another grid, and amending grids in hopes of finding a perfect one that will account for all reality and will, hence, say unenlightened Westerners, be true. This is illusory. It is what we Eurasians call the aneuristic illusion. Some grids can be more useful than others, some more beautiful than others, some more pleasant than others, etc. But none can be more true than any other. Disorder is simply unrelated information viewed through some particular grid. But, like, relation, no relation is a concept. Male, like female, is an idea about sex. To say that maleness is absence of femaleness, or vice versa, is a matter of definition and metaphysically arbitrary. The artificial concept of no relation is the heuristic principle. The belief that order is true and disorder is false or somehow wrong is the aneuristic illusion. To say the same of disorder, is the heuristic illusion. The point is that, little t, truth is a matter of definition relative to the grid one is using at the moment, and that, capital T, truth, metaphysical reality, is irrelevant to grids entirely. Pick a grid, and through it some chaos appears ordered and some appears disordered. Pick another grid, and the same chaos will appear differently ordered and disordered. Reality is the original Rorschach. 